Thank you to you wonderful subscribers for subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. Now, I was recently asked, is it possible to create margins for a book manuscript uh, and create the whole book manuscript, basically, in Canva? Now, the reason they asked that was because um, there's so many more things you can use. When you're trying to format something in Word and you're trying to do this all yourself, Work it, setting out the margins can be difficult in itself unless you use a template or another program, even, even Google Documents or something else. If you try to create the actual manuscript, it can be tough going. But in Canva, if you could set up the margins so you've got your outside and your inside or gutter margin um, correctly, then and they alternate all the way through, then you can fill them in. You can fill all that space in, in between, with text how how you like through Canva. It's easy. Um, elements, all kinds of things. It would be a lot easier to do in Canva to fill it in and to get the styling right, the numbering right, and everything else than it would be to do that in, say, Word. And it's more of a, uh, a drag and drop kind of situation. So what I've done here is I've created two videos. The first video is the quick version and it's basically uh, the margins. What we're going to do here is we're going to set out margins, top, bottom, um, header, footer, um, left and right or outside and gutter margins in Canva. In the longer version of this video, we actually go into putting text in, putting the num page numbering in putting the chapter uh, headings in and things like that. Um, so it's more in depth. So if you just want to know how to put the margins in, this is the one for you. Um, I'll also try to leave some templates for these uh, videos. So you can click on the templates for Canva if you've got a Canva, Canva um, account, whether that's free or uh, premium. Click on the template link and you'll just go straight to this template and you'll be able to manipulate it again how you how you wish. Um, so I hope that works. It's the first time I've tried this. So anyway, let's get cracking. So the first thing we do, we go to this page here, which is on Amazon's KDP. Now, whether you're using Amazon or not, you know, it doesn't really matter. You can use, um, use these sizes for whoever you're publishing with. So we've got the page count here. We've got 24 to 150 or 151 to 300. And what we're going to do is, and it goes up 701 to 828 pages. So what we're going to look at here is 151 to 300 pages. And the inside gutter needs to be a minimum of 0.5 or half an inch, if you like. And the outside margin, and we're talking no bleed here. We're just going with a straight um, as you would novel, which is always inside margins. Um, you, you rarely get them where there's a full page uh, image, um, edge to edge. Everything's usually within the margins, and that's what we're looking at here, just a standard manuscript. Outside margin, no bleed, 0.25 or a quarter of an inch, if you like. What we'll do is we'll go to Canva, we custom size, and I'm going with a 5 inch by 8 inch, 5 inch width, eight inch high that's a pretty a pretty standard sort of size book for a novel i'm just going with five by eight here as an example we go to elements we pick a square we move it to the edge we drag it up and down then we bring it in now the first page of a book is the right hand side this is the page and it opens up on the right hand side and this is where if there was text here, we'd want the largest margin because that's the bit that gets stuck inside the binder, inside the spine here. And we have the narrow margin on the outside. So back to the trim sizes, we want 0.5 of an inch. So if I grab hold of this here and pull it in, 0.5, done. Now if I copy that, paste, move it over to the other side with this 150 to 300 pages, we want 0.25. So if I drag that across, that's the minimum. So I'm going with 0.3 there, just a little bit extra, because it doesn't need to be that skinny. 
And that's like I say, it's the minimum 0.25. Now we want the top and bottom margin. So if I pick squares again, move this up to the top in the corner, drag it over to that side, and we look at the top. The minimum for the top and bottom without bleed needs to be 0.25. So I'll drag that up and I'll go for 0.3 again on that, just to give that a little bit of extra. And copy that and drag it down to the bottom so we know we've got the top and bottom at 0.3. We've got a 0.3 on this side and we've got the 0.5 on that side. Now that's the first page for the margin setup. So then what do we do? Well, we duplicate a page. Okay, now we move these about a bit. We just swap that one with that one. We've got page one, just as an exam example here. As we turn the page, we've got page two. So as long as those the broader margins are in the gutter, that's the all you have to think about is that's going to be in the gutter. And your chapters usually always start on the right hand side. Right, so what do we do with these two? And we don't really like this greyness in here. We're using that for now. We could just colour it white. If we're using white paper. If we're not using white paper and using cream paper, then you'll want to delete all these uh, when it comes to it, um, when it comes to publishing. Or just delete them all anyway when it comes to publishing. But if it's white background and you're using a white uh, border, then it's not going to be seen. So that's just, or it shouldn't be seen. But like I say, you can uh, you can adjust that as you go. Now what happens, you, you can't see anything there, can you? So what happens if you put text in? Well, let's have a little look. We'll put some text in here. Straight away, we're on the inside there. Now if I colour these in, you can see how the text sits nicely with the outside margin and the inside margin. Those elements are holding it in place. And if I was to say copy that, and paste it down here and we can move that to there so you can see again if I was to put that back to grey you can see how the text sits inside those two elements now then if we go all the way back to where we've got the colours to the greys here all we have to do then if we want another page duplicate the first page which has gone straight under the first page and we move it down one so now we've got this effect left side gutter right side gutter, left side gutter. So if we want another page, we go to the right side gutter. So we keep alternating. That's gone straight underneath the right side gutter, so we move it down one. And we're on four pages already. And this is how we set up our margins when we're creating a manuscript in Canva. And like I say, you can just make them white if you want, or you can keep them in until you've finished your book and you're ready to publish and just go over and delete them all. Yeah, it could be a bit tedious with uh, 800 pages. <laughs> But at the same time, it could be worth it because you know you've got your manuscript set up. But you have to remember, it's not an easy process to create a long-form book. It's an enjoyable process once you get the hang of it. But like this one for me, for example, it doesn't matter what it is. 220 pages, 80,000 words, pretty much. And it took me a year to create. A year. So this is an ideal way to do it in Canva. If you're not wanting to do it in Word or wanting to learn Word or another another uh, word processing document, and you can play about with it, then you see because you've got all kinds of all kinds of fonts you can use for headers and and all, all sorts of things. So okay, we keep going. And do we need to do 150 pages? No, not really, not really. Um, it would take a long time. But let's say, for instance, we got to 10. Right, what we could do is we could go to File, make a copy. And straight away we've got 20. We could keep doing that. You know, so ideally you get to about 50 and then you'd make another copy. And then you'd fill them in once you've got your manuscript complete. Um, and I mean complete, you know, there's no room for errors to go over and over these things. We've got that pretty much sussed out. And like I say, there's a longer version which shows you how to put the chapter headings in, the words, the numbers, everything else. But this is just to show you how you can do the margins, the gutter margins, the outside margins, using the measurements from Amazon and using Canva. And if you want to join them together, all you do is you take these files that you've saved, you've saved them. So you save them as PDF prints, 
when they're complete, when you've got a chapter or two in them and everything's finished and you've got rid of your outside borders, then download them as a PDF print. So when you get all your files together then, you just go to, I recommend PDF Joiner. It's free, completely free. And all you do is you upload files, you put them here, and you join them. And you've joined the files together. You know, so it's really, it really is quite simple once you get the hang of it. But this was all about just, can you put the margins in? And yes, you can. You can't sort of guess work. You need to use the right size. So if you had up to 500 pages, you would need to change it. Up to 700 pages, change it again. But all the measurements are here, and there's a link for the description. So that's it. If you need some more information, you can look at the other video, and here's a link for that. Yeah, I mean, that, that'll really go into a lot more detail and it's a lot more long-winded if you like um, but uh, it's all helpful stuff so i hope that helps thank you